Yeah, I like to aggravate. All right, babe, good plan. I said that was a good plan. George, most of the people here speak English. It'd be cool if I saw a Okay, what the hell? We'll have to come back another night and come check all this out. Looks pretty good. everybody, Paige and Chuck here in Bangkok, Thailand. We just stayed here at the, wait, what is it? Uh, Amari. Amari. <laughs> Amari Hotel here at the Don Wong Airport right over here. We are going to Singapore today. Are you excited? I think I got a lot of stuff here. I can put a lot of gear inside my shirt. Like Mr. Gadget, you know? I think Joe and Gift are already at the airport. They arrived earlier, I think. I'm not sure. He sent me a message saying they were already to check in. So we got a short two and a half hour flight. Our friends are gonna meet us at the airport and shuffle us down to uh, our, I don't know if we can get there right away because check in is a little late. So I don't know what's gonna happen. It's gonna be a fun, fun next five, six days. Just so you know, coming back, spend one night here, and then heading to heading to Prachua. Anyway, it's loud out here, guys. Good morning. Anyway, guys, we've got a, uh, a lot of stuff planned coming back. We get to Prachua, we'll spend a day or two there, and then we got reservations to head down, make our way down to Aonang Krabi with Mom. She's really excited about that. This hotel is like a really good choice for us. Relaxing to just come here early, have a nice meal. The bed, super comfortable here. Awesome pillows. The only bad thing was the shower was like, <laughs> you can't adjust the temperature. It's either, well, it cycles like boiling, freezing, boiling, freezing. <laughs> okay. And then the air when we first got in, like you couldn't control it like it was automatic set on like arctic <laughs> but other than that it's a really nice room we're on the top floor has a beautiful pool down there but you know it's uh it's rainy season okay this is everything one backpack page backpack and one suitcase we don't have any room for anything else like I told you guys before, we're allowed to park here in the very back. It's quite a ways, but it's okay. For the cost of staying a night here in a hotel, in this nice hotel, and we just go right up here and walk to the airport, we can leave our car here for free just by staying here. But we're gonna stay here on the way on our return anyway because we're not gonna get back here until like four or five o'clock in the afternoon. So well worth staying here because you can find a lot of inexpensive and I showed in the videos before places to park secure places to park but they're not close and you, you're dependent on them to shuttle you down here so you can check the link I leave for this place to find out the pricing to, uh, to find out the price of your stay how much was this room a night for us? $26.80. Okay. It's $70 with breakfast. Yeah, but we, we got <laughs> we got kind of a Gucci room, but that's okay. I want 
I think that's a big room other than the uh, bedroom suite. Yeah. So. <laughs> For me, I want to be comfortable before we leave, you know? Yeah. Their bed is well worth it. Mm -hmm. The room is big. The shower <laughs> on that room is no good. Yeah, that's the one we had no problem. Yeah, the one we had no problem before that. A couple times before that. I'm carrying, actually, Paige is carrying Joe's uh, Harley Davidson hat in her bag. Yeah. Gotta give it to Joe. <laughs> I got these socks that I got from the market. They say rainbow on it. But I continuously like that band right there because it aggravates a lot of people, the rainbow band. I'm not gay. Yeah, I can carry less if you are gay or not gay. My, I have a son who's gay. I love him just no matter what he is. But uh, I like to aggravate. Yeah. Not too many people this morning. They're going to Malaysia here. That'll be next time. Maybe we need to look at the uh, thing here. It's 8.25. There's nobody here, huh? Normally, wherever we travel, there's like a lot of people traveling the same place. So. Maybe not too many people going to see you. Yeah, we're early. The, well, the plane boards in an hour and a half. Mm. All right, we got to carry our own bags over here. Okay. To the terminal. Gate number four. Okay, got all my stuff through. Trying to figure out exactly what they want here. We managed to do it. Let's go to our terminal. Let me get this here. I'm gonna just put my backpack in here. Should we go find a Starbucks? I don't think they already did that. This thing needs an alignment. <laughs> you picked the bad one. <laughs> <laughs> it's got some hair in it or something. Mm -hmm. go got some bed? drag. <laughs> no, I'm okay. I'm just a little roughed up a little bit. <laughs> the lady was like, pick your necklace up. No, she first she said, she wanted to look at my necklace. So, okay, and then she's like, pick it up. I was just, I was going to just take it off. She goes, no, don't take it off. I'm like, what do you, what do you want me to do? It's, there's nothing in it. It's a, it's a rock. <laughs> oh, well, there's no, I need like a better instruction manual. There's Starbucks. Every time you go through the machine, uh -huh. you have Okay, this is like the first time I've ever heard no, that, so. It's never happened to me, so I guess from now on I'll just uh -huh. make sure that happens. So you just grab on the back and then come through. That's what I want you to do. Okay. <laughs> we have options, huh? Okay. Huh? Oh. <laughs> okay, never mind. Screw the cart. I guess that's why they're all there. <laughs> My computer bag. It just it's heavy, that's all. We'll make it. I, I know we will. <laughs> My feathers are ruffled. Okay. I know somebody said, drink a beer, Chuck. Be okay, you're on vacation. To look for a, a person staring at their phone. 
There he is up there. That's Joe, right? Is that gift? Yeah. You gonna wear it? Oh, okay. What's up? What's happening? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wait, I gotta get this. Oh, I know, Lee. Oh, I know. <laughs> Don't worry, you can watch my video. You like Paige's new hat? Hey, that's a nice. <laughs> yeah, that's how you treat it, huh? Okay. That's a nice hat. Check that out. Very cool. And I left the price tag on there for you. Did you? <laughs> I didn't leave the price tag on yours. <laughs> Thank you. I told the ladies, I said, me and Joe are going to go first this time in case there's a problem, you know? But they're like, no, you go first. I think they want us to be, they want to be left behind, I think. Yeah. Right? All right, we're going to use our credit card to get on zone one so I can get my bag put up easily. Kipta, are you excited to go to Singapore? No, they don't have Starbucks there. Ain't no damn Starbucks in no. Singapore. Here. We're going to have cups of, cup of noodle and damn bottled water. Well, no, you can drink the water, right? You don't need bottled water. If you like chlorine, go ahead. <laughs> I don't drink government water. I'm on detox. I only drink beer. Paige intentionally picked this seat and that seat, thinking that no one's going to come sit in the middle. Probably will. Maybe they won't want to sit on the end, they want to sit next to me. Huh? <laughs> Alright babe, good plan. I said that was a good plan. Well, we are here. I'm not allowed to video, but right over by the. Uh, <laughs> they're looking at me. Anyway, I'm not allowed to video, but we can go through the kiosk, which is pretty cool. Actually, it's just right over there. 
but I couldn't go through the automatic because it wouldn't take my picture and it wouldn't take her thumbprints but it, yeah the machine's broken yeah. well me and Joe both need to hit up the ATM machine I'm gonna use my American debit card this, uh, of course the dollar is better than the bot so Yeah, there wasn't anybody there, but Joe said that there's a little display that says, look here. But Joe said his guy told him to look at the little red dot, which I didn't do. So. Anyway, but whatever. Okay, we finally met up with George. You yes, thought we got lost, huh? Don't get lost. I needed money. I don't have any money. <laughs> so you got your money? Yeah, we got it finally. I haven't used my ATM in America for a while. Because oh. I kept putting savings, I couldn't remember. Is it a checking or savings? But anyway, you, I got it. Good, good, good. Hi, buddy. Well, we're gonna put our stuff in his sister's car. He wants to show us the jewel terminal. He said you gotta go here. And I don't know why we didn't fly in there. I guess it's kind of. Let me go. Jewel. What is jewel? Jewel is the jewel. The structure that is uh, has got a lot of gardens. Waterfall and all that. Oh, Joe, you didn't watch my video? Let's go. Hell no, I don't have time to watch your videos. <laughs> really, I don't watch my own. <laughs> anyway, I guess the bigger planes fly into this part of the airport, so we didn't come in that side. It's supposed to be one of the most beautiful airports in the world. Yeah, Jewel. We gotta take a bus over there. George. Most of the people here speak English. Yeah, everyone. Everyone speaks English. So I have everyone. to be careful. The language is not a problem. So I can't, I gotta tone down my <laughs> joking, right? I can't be sarcastic, right? <laughs> Can I speak Thai? Do they, do they, do they speak Thai here? No. 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 Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, you can't speak Chinese. Well, I can't. So okay. <laughs> In this community. What about Chinese? I speak Chinese here. Well, I speak a lot of Chinese. I, yeah. I only know. Xie Xie. Xie Xie. That's probably a good word to know, huh? Yeah. Wow, this is such a big airport. Do we leave out of this terminal, George? Yes. Oh, okay. But he says we we need to see it. Uh, we don't want to try to see it leaving, though, right? wondering if they had it here. Yeah, I'm told that it's a one one drumstick is like um, nine dollars. <laughs> you know, two hundred and sixty bucks. Really? I don't know here, but in a mall, uh, somebody. Uh, metal knife. It's a lot of stuff. <laughs> We've got some authentic Indonesian food here at the airport. Airport food is usually really expensive, but here's what I got. And Paige got that. And it was 10, this one, 1080. So let's see what that is. So actually it's not too bad. It's seven dollars and ninety-nine cents or two hundred and seventy-eight. It was right there on the side. What are you paying? 278 baht. How much? 
278 bucks. That's cheap at an airport. Yeah, it's only seven dollars and ninety-nine eight dollars U.S. Okay. That's a lot of food too. Just stand up and walk, and right. immediately somebody will. So come. George is telling me that every time he turns around, they're trying to find him, right? He said that we have to put our tray, our tray right here, and if if you don't, as a foreigner, they won't do nothing, I guess, right? But for you, they'll give you a ticket for $200. That's insane. <laughs> so if we leave three dishes, you get 600 <laughs> <laughs> One person will take three, right? <laughs> Crazy. Well, that's a good yeah. lesson to learn. Right? Mm. Maybe they should do that time. <laughs> they get rich. Of course, it won't happen. No, they, 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 no money. What are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> so, we went from the country to uh, up to you to like, uh, you better not leave your cup somewhere, you know, you're fine, you know? <laughs> A&W uh, root beer. They used to have that in Thailand. And they have an IMAX here too, which is good if you got a long layover. You can go sleep in the IMAX. <laughs> Donuts. I like donuts. I know. Donut me die. But I've never had a Singaporean donut. <laughs> Singaporean. Must be cold in there. It'd be cool if I saw a pterodactyl fly around. <laughs> it's just like Japan, you gotta stay on the left. What side do you stay on in Thailand? Foosball. Foosball, yeah. Foosball. Oh, they need some. some. What the hell? No, don't do that. Gonna get, gonna get fine. Hey, do you want to go jump? Yeah. We'll stay down here. And do <laughs> I don't want to fall through that hole. <laughs> I think it's time for a beer. Yeah, you want to drink a beer? Right here, some Asahi. <laughs> George. Do you get a fine for dancing? It's like an amusement park up here, you got a lot of little things to do. 
pretty cool. Okay, we're gonna take a metered taxi to the hotel right now. George says here they don't they don't cheat you here, but there is a five dollar surcharge for airport pickup. For uh, to meet the local train. here at the hotel. Yeah. Hey, look at that. They got a couple of massage chairs for you. All right, we're finally going up to the room. That took about 45 minutes. Okay, we're back to the small elevator. We're supposed to have gotten like a studio like a two bedroom like kind of thing but I don't think that's what we got so. we'll see <sighs> okay what the heck hmm. all right well let's see what's <laughs> let's look downstairs here huh let me close the door man what are you doing I don't know mm -hmm. So there's the toilet. Oh, and a shower. I see shower. All right. <laughs> That's what I want to do in the middle of the night. It's come down and pee. Okay. What the hell? This is what we paid for. All right, guys, it's a lot of confusion. This is not what I looked at on the picture, but we're in Singapore. I don't know what all the hotels look at. Everybody say, no, they're all small. We were supposed to get something completely different. And we got something very compact. So uh, I just wanted to make sure that we didn't pay for something uh, that are, you know, this is a lot less than what we actually paid for. You know what I mean? <laughs> Uh, this wasn't too bad. It was like $500 for uh, yeah, 500 US for five, about $100 a night. So, but they have another one they were going to give me, but it doesn't have a desk. So the, this one's got more room because the way it's set up. I just don't want to fall down, you know. 
definitely don't want to fall down. Yeah, that's the Singaporean plug here. But this is the same as Thailand. I would have worked. Okay, let's go back downstairs. Our friends are trying to find us another hotel. I'm there. Gotta get the key. Okay, now that that chaos is over, we're gonna go. We're taking the subway in the morning and we're gonna meet them at the Botanical Gardens tomorrow, which is a, some kind of national heritage park. But it would take them a long time to get here from there. So he's gonna show me where to get on the subway and we're just gonna meet them over there. Now he says the subway, you don't have to, you can just any, if you've got a credit card that has the tap and pay, you can just use that. You don't have to get a pass or anything like that, which is good. Makes life easy. They got Chang. It's a uh, look. New Udon. Thai Pad. Thai Food. Thai Food. Thai Food. I'm sorry. Thai Food. Food. Okay, now Okay, now this is a very special crossing. That bike's going right right on the Ride that one on the way back. <laughs> E bike. I figured this out. Hmm? I figured this out. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. Now I know we're in the right spot. I see Singha and Leo. Yeah, I saw them drinking Leo at the table behind me. Actually, the prices are not really that bad but the trip is young. That's not bad, $5 for that. So Singaporean dollar is a little less than the value of the dollar. So that's gonna be less than five US dollars. So you can scan pay here. There's the scan. The problem is it wants to tell you in Thai bot. So I have to do the conversion. It says it's like 26,000 to one something like that. I don't know, I just looked at it briefly, but I was like, yeah, I, I can't, I'm not gonna try to figure that out right now. So, Paige, you can scan pay here, but it's in, you have to do the conversion because for the Thai bot, it doesn't automatically change it to Singapore. So it's very difficult to try to figure that out, you know? What do you order? Chicken plate. They have like European food. Like, yeah, I know, but I'm not hungry tonight. Well, I mean later yeah, though, they do have it here. I have ordered one, I, we, we try first, we order one uh, Singha uh -huh. and one Leo. Uh -huh. And uh, do you want Chang? I don't like Chang. Right? You don't like Chang, okay. I only drink Singha. Singha. I okay. order one Singha, one Leo, and uh -huh. we want more orders, we can order. Uh, Singha. Today. Oh, okay. Alright, got some chicken and french fries and some spicy ketchup. Well, I, could, I could like this guy. So you can get basically a bowl of soup here. A big bowl of soup like that for about $3. That's cheap. That's not anything like I was. Everybody was telling me I'm going to take out a loan to eat here. I think it depends on where you go. Yeah. Yeah. The the trip is young. 
but you can see it's between anywhere from ten dollars to five to Singaporean dollars. So you will take out a loan by the time you're done feeding me. Yeah. We're gonna be splitting plates and, and fourths. Is it? I, I looked it up and it said Hong Kong was number one. No, today Singapore will take everybody as the most expensive country in the world for expense. Uh, which means you cannot have privilege to own public housing. What's the uh, average income here? Okay, uh, a graduate, fresh graduate, if you come out, you get about 3,500 Sing dollars, which is roughly about 3,000 US. I mean, as a country, what is the what is the average income for, 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 for everybody? Oh. They say it's 70,000 70, US per year. 70,000 US a year? Per year. Okay. Okay. I will check check for Okay. We're gonna win? Huh? We're gonna win? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What's today? Morning. We're gonna go to the casino in a few days, but you're not gonna go. I will be with you at the sky park. Go to the casino, the boat ride, and the special. So tell them why you're not gonna go. No. Why aren't you gonna go? Because I'm a Singaporean and. I will have to pay a levy to I'm enter on. the casino. I think it's three hundred sing dollars. Wow, three hundred dollars just for a for a. Now that's like the opposite of Thailand. He has to pay three hundred dollars just to get in the casino. Wow. I guess you're not going to the casino. So what is it going to be? A lot of Chinese. I just pay three hundred. To go in and see how people gamble and kiss my 300 goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> well, most people that go in with their money, they just kiss it goodbye as well. <laughs> I don't want to know. My <laughs> Well, we're going to catch up with these guys tomorrow uh, in botanical gardens, right? Botanic garden. So, is it like a bunch of flowers and stuff? Or? Oh, more than that. It's a UNESCO. UNESCO, okay. UNESCO site. All right. Yes. Looking forward to it. We'll see you guys in the morning. Bye. Okay, Kat. Yeah, please. See you in the morning. Okay, tomorrow. You can watch my video. I can watch the video. All right, let's go over here and check out Singapore 7 Eleven. She said everything packed. Everything's expensive here? Well, probably compared to Thailand. This is a very small 7-Eleven. Very, very small. Well, it's the only one around that, that I can see. Fold that. Oh, shit. Good luck, Chuck. Chuck. That <laughs> one's 280. No. Oh. Yeah. What's no, the difference? True, the 280 is the small one. Oh. Trying to bake you out, huh? <laughs> hey, I could have bought Joe a hat here. Look. This has got to be. Joe, here's a, look, here they have it here, $60. $60. This is $60. Holy this shit. is the smallest 7-Eleven I've seen <laughs> in the world. We got wine. So, they don't have any Leo, man. Only lemon twist, uh, five dollars for a pilt snow. Uh, for a small one. They got that though. Mm -hmm. For three dollars and ten cents. But it's Singaporean dollars, you know. Um, no dinner. Mm -hmm. You think you bought your own? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have people, I have no dinner. I don't want anything now. Mm -hmm. Holy shit, Batman. Five dollars and eighty cents for. Well, what is that? 
Oh, well, that's a big bag, but it's 150 baht. We can't buy That's way too big. Yeah. Alright, let's go see. Paige wants to get a couple canned beers for the room, but I don't know if they have them out here. Let's go take one look. This place is open 24 hours anyway. We'll just walk around a little bit. I don't, for me, the food is not that bad here, you know? I don't know, everybody had me so freaked out, like, it's so expensive, it's so expensive. I mean, if you're comparing it to Thai, look, here's a Thai restaurant right here. Yeah. Hello. Wow, that looks, that looks pretty good, actually. Oh, they got some good-looking steaks here. Huh. Muslim owned. They probably got some pretty good beef. Wow, that basically all that looks pretty good. Got to sell beer there, though. Look, freshly squeezed orange juice, but it's from Australia. I guess they don't have orange trees here. Oh, the land is so small. Hmm. Right here, there's a bunch of stuff. So, our hotel is right there, Arton. And there's another little food court here. I think they got beer here. Oh, no. Yeah, they got beer. Oh. more local area here, huh? More stuff. <coughs> Bistro. Mm -hmm. This is a, I think a bar here. Oh, watch that stuff. Oh, it's a pub, 150. A restaurant, here's another. It's scary up there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we found another 7 Eleven here. It looks bigger. See what options they have in here. Like a sports bar here. We'll have to come back another night and come check all this out. Looks pretty good. Okay guys, gonna end the video. I'll let you know how the room turns out tomorrow. Come with us tomorrow in Singapore, it's gonna be fun. I think we're gonna do Little India. Oh, we do have a couple waters, huh? Two. We're gonna do Little India and we're going to Botanical Garden, so yeah. It's an adventure day number one. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.